New developments tonight. We're learning more about that bizarre attempted bank robbery in New Britain. He states that he's strapped to, uh, he has a bomb he's sitting in his car in, in the garage, um, that the perpetrators also put a bomb under the mother's bed. Well, those 911 calls were just released today. Now the focus is back on the victim. Investigators say he, quote, played along with the suspects. News 8's Jason Newton live in New Britain tonight with more of those 911 calls and what police have learned from them. Jason? Darren, the court documents were unsealed today, and those court documents were actually the search warrants for the cell phones of both the bank executive and the alleged suspect in this incident. And reading through them, as we have been doing all day and night, really helps tell the story of what took place that day. The 911 calls attest to the confusion swirling around that Monday two weeks ago. He didn't state how many um, perpetrators there were. He didn't. So you just said I that house with one? Correct. Correct. And that there's a bomb under her bed. So I'm assuming she's taped to the, the bed. That's the voice of a chief financial credit union CEO, Andrew Klimkowski. He called 911 after receiving a distress call from the alleged victim, Matthew Yusman, who was also an executive with the credit union, saying that he was being forced to withdraw money from several credit union branches. He states that he's strapped. To, uh, he has a bomb, he's sitting in his car in, in the garage, um, that the perpetrators also put a bomb under the mother's bed. He's instructing me to vacate um, our New Britain branch um, because they're going to come and, and rob it with, uh, with cash um, and that the employees are to leave. Cell phone tower search warrants reveal that Yusman played along with at least one of the suspects through text message. When asked, how much do you have? Yusman replied seconds later, over a million. He was then told to meet the suspect at a cemetery in Farmington, but instead Yusman was found in his car alone outside the New Britain branch of his credit union. And it's important to say that no money was actually stolen during this uh, attempted robbery, and also the alleged bomb was a fake as well. Now, New Britain police would not comment on camera, but they did tell us that no arrests have been made and that Yusman is still considered the victim in this case. That's the very latest live in New Britain tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.